There's so many reasons why I dumped the Chrome browser and migrated to Microsoft Edge. Being an educator, having the flexibility of annotating, customizing, highlighting, commenting on my course material was crucial. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. In today's session, I will be showing you how I use my Edge browser as a blackboard, whiteboard, and multiple other things in my teaching. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here I am on my desktop and I'm going to open these three documents in my Edge browser. In order for you to do that, you need to make sure you have your Edge browser installed on your computer or your desktop. Once that's done, simply right click, scroll all the way down to open with, and here is your Microsoft Edge. I have opened up all these three documents. As you can see, it's document one, two, and three. So I have all these three documents opened up in one window. If you're using Microsoft Teams or any other video conferencing tool, all you have to do is share this one window and it's like a one-stop shop for your students. The first thing that I like about Edge Browser is this little button here. And as soon as I press this button, it kind of adjusts my entire document to the width of my window, which I like. I don't have to worry about if something is going outside, are my students able to see everything or no. So this is a document that I have created using PowerPoint. This is the first page that they see. When I scroll down, as you can see, this kind of mimics the blackboard inside our classrooms. Again, this has also been created using PowerPoint. And because this mimics the classroom, the blackboard inside the classroom, I will go ahead and start using my annotation tools, which I love about the Edge browser. It's right here. Once I scroll up, all my tools that I need to teach my class are available right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick a white, now yellow color because it's a blackboard. And I'm gonna ask my students, uh, test two review done. Did you complete 3.1? Did you discuss the project? Whatever the date this is. My to-do list and questions from 3.1. So as you can see, you can customize all of these, save them as a PDF and open that in your Edge browser and you're ready to go and teach your class. Now let's move on to the next slide or the next PDF document. I've created a plain blank PDF and this kind of mimics your blackboard in the classroom. If I have to go ahead and write, I'm going to say Z is equal to X minus mu over standard deviation. I'm going to say important formula. And you can also write down or customize. Again, today's objective was 3.2. The problems that I'm doing is four, six, and nine. And as you can see, I have a save button as well. I can save this entire document or I can save it as. What I do is I create blank Blackboard documents for myself and every class I save it as that day of the class so I can just email it to my students. Let's say I'm saving this document today. Instead of saving this, I will click Save As and put it as today's date. So I'm gonna click Save As, and whatever today's date is, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in that date and save that document. And all I have to do is send this document to my students. That way they have the entire notes right with them. So let's scroll down further. If you're not a Blackboard person, here I have created another customized PDF document, again, using PowerPoint. So I'm going to use a darker pen here. I'm going to say um, X minus X squared minus 4X plus 5 is equal to 10. I'm going to say solve. So you get the idea. You have this complete customized blackboard, whiteboard for your classes. And this is another one that I created. Again, all of this is done using PowerPoint. If you want to know how, please leave a comment in the comment section below so I can create a couple of them and have them available for you to download. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how I teach my classes. So this is again a PDF document that I have created using my PowerPoint and opened it up in the Edge browser. And as you can see, I will use my highlighting tool and say today we're going to 
compute probability using normal distribution. And I'm going to pick a black pen here and I'm going to say area is equal to probability. And what I like the most is the contents here. When I click on table of contents, as you can see, I name my tiles or my slides when I'm creating so my students can access them. So the first one is compute probability. Second one is how to use class calc. And the third one is the problems. So let's go here. I'm going to close this. And again, do not forget, you always have an option to read aloud. This is right here for you. So here is my document, the first document or the first worksheet that I'm going to be working today. Let me go ahead and pick a pen tool. And here I am finding the area under the normal curve. OK, finding the area under the normal curve that lies to the left of the z-score. Just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and graph this for my students so they know that area is to the left. Right. You can change the colors. I'm going to say area to the left. Make sure you know this is to the left. And I also would like to add a comment to the word left in the document. To add comments, it's very simple. You let me uncheck the draw button. I'm going to select the left tool. And as soon as you select, you see that this tab opens up and it's going to ask you what do you want to do? Copy, highlight or add a comment. In this case, I'm going to add a comment and I'm going to say area or check. Check for the area that is shaded to the left of the curve. And if you want to add something else, you can do that, too. And I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, I highlighted it and added a comment and you can see this little tab that says there's a comment there. So when my students are reviewing this document, they can go here and they're going to say, oh, she asked me to check area to the left. Now, if I want them to check area to the right, I'm simply going to highlight the word right, add a comment, uh, check area to the right again this is just for demonstration purposes you can add whatever comments you want now let me go back here i can change the color of my highlight too if left is yellow i want to make right a green so there i have it and in addition to that i can also use my pen tool and highlight whatever I want. And if I'm done, I can go ahead and erase it. So I really like using Edge browser in my classes. I don't have to worry about different apps, downloading, updating. It's all one stop shop for me. And let me show you one more way of using it. When it's the first day of class and I would like to demonstrate or talk about my syllabus in my classes, this is again a PDF document that I have created using PowerPoint. This is an interactive PDF. And again, if you want to learn more about this one, all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below so I can show you how I created this interactive PDF. This is required grading test contact me attendance. So let me go ahead and click on grading. Let's say I'm demonstrating this to my class and I'm going to say this is grading and Please pay attention that your test grades are 60%, your, what was that, class participation is 10%, and your quiz is 15, and your homework is 15. So you can be using this as a PowerPoint presentation, but in your Edge browser, and at the same time, highlighting whatever you want your students to see. Once it's done, I'm going to uncheck the draw button and here I'm using this little home tab to go back to my home screen. In here, I'm going to click on contact me. Here is my contact information. Click on the home button again right here and I'm going to click on tests. There are four tests, five tests, how many ever tests you have. So the main reason why I use my Edge browser is the flexibility of me having to read aloud, draw, highlight, comment, erase, and page view table of contents. Let's take a look here. I have all my pages here. If my students want to go directly to grading scale, they can do that by interactive PDF here or simply by clicking the grading scale. Wait, have you used Edge browser before? Have you tried using Edge Browser before? 
What do you like? What do you dislike? How innovatively do you use Edge Browser in your classrooms? I would love to know. So please comment in the comment section below. And if you want to know how I created the clickable PDF, please leave a comment so I can create a video just for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, please make sure you like, subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. They could be an educator who might want to focus on the teaching rather than technology. And always remember, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.